Mrs. Falconeri, we now know, all of us, that Maxie Jones didn't kill Rob. And in fact, Maxie hasn't killed anyone. No, if anyone in this custody trial is a murderer, it's you. Excuse me? What part of you are a murderer doesn't translate? Objection. Argumentative, assuming facts not Relax, murder. Counselor. Ms. Miller, need I remind you that your job is to ask the questions? It's up to the witness to testify. Absolutely, Your Honor. Questions. Ms. Falconeri, are you a murderer? Uh, this is ridiculous. Lulu has never killed anyone. This is the last time I will admonish the gallery. Any further outburst, and I will clear the courtroom. Your Honor, I will offer proof that this woman is not only a murderer, but she's killed twice. Isn't that correct, Mrs. Falconeri? Wow, was Alexis... Just as bad. Any sign of Robert and Anna? Yeah, it's like they vanished into thin air. No sign of Robert or Anna? No, not yet. I'll fill you in later. How's our girl holding up? We were afraid it would get ugly. We were right. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, then let me refresh your memory. Does the name Logan Hayes mean... Objection, Your Honor. Your Relevance. Honor, opposing counsel opened this door when she questioned my client's alleged history of violence. Certainly, I'm allowed the same latitude. I'll allow it. Please answer the question. I know the name. In fact, you had a close personal relationship with Logan Hayes. If by close personal relationship you mean that Maxie and Logan conspired to manipulate me into falling for him, then yes, I did. This is Falconeri. You surprise me. You're able to remember all of these other fascinating details, yet you cannot remember murdering Objection. him. Objection! I didn't asked murder him. And so you did not stab him and then leave him to die? I was afraid for my life. It was self-defense. He did assaulted Logan me. Did Logan Hayes die of the stab wound you inflicted upon him? Yes or no? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is badgering my witness. Move on, Miss Miller. Absolutely, Your Honor. In summation, Mrs. Falconeri, did you feel justified in killing Logan Hayes? I had no other choice. Because you felt that he was a threat to you. Yes. Your Honor, counsel is attempting to badger the witness. Then how do you justify killing someone who poses no threat at all? I don't understand the question. You don't know who I'm referring to? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Miss Miller, I'll allow you to rephrase. Thank you, Your Honor. I am, of course, referring, Mrs. Falconeri, to the murder of your unborn child. Your Honor, question, Mrs. Falconeri. How could you ask me a question like that? Good question. I think it's only fair to wonder why the witness is so eager to take custody of my client's baby when she was once so eager to get rid of her own. How could you? How could you? Mrs. Falconeri, you are reminded not to converse with the gallery. Your Honor, last time I checked, my client's right to choose was upheld by the Supreme Court. This is not up for discussion. Quite right. Ms. Miller, you're trying my patience. Mrs. Falconeri, you don't have to answer that question. No, it's okay. I want to answer it, Your Honor. Yes, I had an abortion. I was a teenager. I had sex before I was ready, and I got pregnant as a result. And deciding what to do next was the hardest decision I've ever made. But given my circumstances, it was the right choice for me. I wasn't ready to be a mother, but I am now. Alexis, do something. Your Honor, how much longer must we be subjected to opposing counsel's vulgar theatrics? I appreciate the inventive ground for your objection, Miss Davis. You're overruled. Mm -hmm. However, Miss Miller, I would advise you to get to where you're going and note that you have two strikes against you. Absolutely noted, Your Honor. I have just one more matter to bring before the court. <clears throat> Mrs. Falconeri, can you please describe your state of mind when you found out that my clients intended to claim custody of their child? My state of mind? How did you react to the news? I was upset. What else would I be there trying to take my daughter away from me? Whose daughter she is, the court will determine. Objection. That's argumentative. Sustained. Okay, Get you were... to the point, Miss Miller. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, you were upset. How upset? Very. Enough to take drastic action? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about your plan to flee the country with a child that isn't yours. Assumes facts, not in evidence. Did you or did you not 
Tell Maxie Jones that you tried to persuade your husband to flee this jurisdiction with the child, even with the knowledge that custody would now become a matter for the court to decide. She is not your daughter. Yes, she is. She is as much my daughter as if I'd given birth to her. And now I'm being told that I might lose her? How do you think I felt when Spinelli told me that you were getting a court order? I was devastated. I even talked to Dante about going on the run with her. No. I did not. Maxie's lying. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Did you know anything about this? Lulu is lying through her teeth. Maxie made it up. I never said anything about taking Connie away. Did you tell anyone else about this plan that you suggested to your husband? There was no plan. I never even considered taking off with Connie, much less discussed it with my husband. I have no further questions, Your Honor. You may step down, Mrs. Falconeri. The court will take a brief 10-minute recess. Hey, how are you holding up? I kept hoping it wouldn't come to this. And somehow Dante and Lily would come to their senses and, and, and we could work it out, but I mean, throw, throwing Lulu's abortion in her face? Uh, there's no way back for our friendship. It's just as Diane predicted, scorched earth. I swear on my life, Lulu told me she was going to go on the run with Connie. She, she even brought Dante in on the plan. I mean, who knows who else she told? Who, who knows better about disappearing than a mob boss? Or Luke, he's been on the run for most of his life. Honey, we believe you, but there may be no way to prove it. It's your word against Lulu's. That's not necessarily true. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate the support. Of course, honey. We'll support you guys no matter what. You know that. Let Alexis do her job, because she'll, she'll take Diane down. Trust me. Hey, can I just uh, talk to my wife course, for a here. second? Do you want to tell me what that was up there? What do you mean? What I mean is we did exactly what Diane said we did. We, we, we were going to... Take Connie out of the country. What, what, what did you tell Maxie? It was a moment of weakness. I, I was trying to get through to Maxie. So why did you lie about it? If I told the truth, it would ruin our chances of keeping Connie. You get that, right? Well, I get that you just perjured yourself. All right. Who cares? Who cares? Diane can't prove it. No it's Maxie's word against her. No. So. No. Ms. Davis, you may call your next witness. I have no further witnesses, Your Honor. Miss Miller? We call Detective Dante Falconeri to the stand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Detective Falconeri. In her testimony just now, your wife swore that Maxie Jones is a liar. She also swore that she never told Maxie Jones that you and she planned to abscond with the baby. In fact, she swore that you never even discussed the possibility of fleeing this jurisdiction with the baby to avoid these proceedings. So I really just have one question for you, Detective. Is your wife telling the truth, or is she the liar? 